opening the door, broadening the access, and redefining the future. The Mindoro State U takes the space and leads the journey towards quality education. The conversion of Mindoro State College into Mindoro State University has surmounted several challenges and tests of determination, courage, and optimism of all those behind the journey since 2003 until its recent approval. Behind every scene of compliance were hard toil, nerve-wracking experiences, to meet the deadlines, to plan for the improvements, and to prioritize what needs to be done. Its sleepless nights were countless. There were meals set aside, family meetings denied, and many other stories of sacrifices and selfless generosities. Truly, no pain, no gain. Our leaders, stakeholders, and colleagues throughout our journey did not stop from believing that from meager fans, we can create something bigger. That from unity and collaboration, we can move mountains of obstacles. And that from hard work, optimism, and perseverance, our biggest dream will be a reality. Minska chose to pursue its journey to become a university, dreaming to broaden its scope of services, its number of beneficiaries, and respond strongly to the needs and glamour of Mindoreños for expanded curricular offerings at affordable cost. Minskat, now Minsu, can still vividly recall the different historic events in its journey to become a university. The institution was pushed to meet all the expectations. The areas of compliance, based on Section 26 of RA 10596, that include Program accreditation, or the commission's equivalent. Ratio of qualified full-time faculty to number of students. Adequate libraries and laboratories. Research and development. Relevant linkages and outreach programs. Relevant academic policies, systems, and processes. Notable limitations cited in the summary evaluations of the field visits of MENSCAT include the number of programs accredited with higher level, educational qualifications of the program head, the alignment of general education curriculum with CMOs, adequacy of the laboratory facilities based on the standard requirements, a number of faculty with published researches, subscription to peer-reviewed professional and international referee journals, and adequacy of research facilities. These are only few of the long list of recommendations which were complied by Minska. The journey might have been tiring and sometimes hopeless. However, as a resilient institution, we relied on different means to achieve its quest to become a university. We put our hopes into actions and lived out our core values of responsibility, involvement, commitment, and excellence. We embraced and accepted fully all the challenges, conquered our own fears and inhibitions. We redefined in our minds the concept of quality education. Generally, we completely entrusted all our inputs, systems, and processes on our government standards of a university. We prayed hard for abundant professions of our Almighty God. The point is that, a strong leadership, highly competent, and qualified faculty, outstanding students regardless of their status in life, and a network of solid support from external and internal providers contributed remarkably for reaching this new level. Being a university now, the Mindoro State University is now readying to continue to raise its bar on different areas. Long live Mindoro State University!